Restaurants in the U.S. state of Georgia have joined other businesses that are now allowed to serve customers after a month of lockdown. We're doing the best we can to follow the guidelines set forth by the governor, by the president. U.S. President Donald Trump did not extend federal social distancing guidelines that expired Thursday. He expressed optimism states can relax their own restrictions and that the ailing economy will soon rebound. I think you're going to see uh, economic numbers that are going to be fantastic. I believe it very strongly. That, despite Labor Department figures showing about 30 million Americans filed jobless claims since mid-March. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell has a more pessimistic outlook than the president. This ongoing public health crisis will weigh heavily on economic activity, employment and inflation in the near term and poses considerable risks to the economic outlook over the medium term. The White House in mid-April released guidelines for states to reopen their economies. Called gating requirements, it's based on a decline in documented coronavirus cases and hospital preparedness, among other factors. You have about 30 states that are now uh, either in the process of reopening or thinking about it. Probably only a handful actually even meet the initial White House gating requirements there. President Trump said his administration is working with the private sector to accelerate vaccine development. The nation's top health expert says a drug called remdesivir is showing promise. The mortality rate trended towards being better in the sense of less deaths in the remdesivir group. 8% versus 11% in the placebo group. But for right now, before any area or state rushes to reopen, the think tank Bipartisan Policy Center wants communities to keep evaluating their own progress to protect the public's health. Declining cases or the percentage of positive tests uh, in a sustained manner uh, for at least a couple of weeks. Uh, the second is increased testing capacity uh, to not only just test individuals who have symptoms, but also vulnerable populations. A third is having a healthcare system that is under capacity. Uh, and fourth is, again, having a public health system that can do the important detective work and contact tracing. Even in states technically still under lockdown, many flout policies to stay indoors, including beachgoers in Southern California. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News.